Good morning from Good New morning. Orleans. We are currently in the Bywater area. We just went and got delicious coffee and juice from Satsuma. Look how beautiful these houses are. It's very similar to the Caribbean. My family's from Trinidad, so kind of in the historic areas of Trinidad, the houses are really similar. Today, our plan is we're gonna meet up with our friend Daniel, also vaccinated, yay. yay. He is from New Orleans, and so he is gonna bring us on a little walking tour. So we will catch you later. We just drove through the Esplanade neighborhood from Bywater to get to our friend's house. You turn right and you drive along this beautiful park. And truly, I'm just like, New Orleans has my heart already. And we've barely been here for 12 hours. So we're very excited to keep exploring. The Millennial Guide 2 introduces new homeowner, Daniel Rigamer. <laughs> That felt really silly. <laughs> <laughs> We're beginning our tour of the French Quarter. This entire time Daniel's been telling us about architecture, how this was all built, and I've just learned that parking is expensive. <laughs> the French Quarter is the oldest neighborhood in Nola. It was established by French colonizers in 1718. There's so much history here. So, come check out the historic New Orleans collection. They're fantastic. The exhibits we saw were dancing in the streets. We saw some paintings. The Saints gets its own, its own special price. <laughs> we're gonna go find some music. Now we're gonna listen to some music. Yeah. I haven't been haunted in the French Quarter. Oh, not haunted. <laughs> not. <laughs> That's so funny. That is actually cute. I did not know that was a thing. A hand grenade. Yeah. Cheers. Clink, 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 clink. Bourbon Street is party central with history, jazz, and bars with drinks to go. Yeah. Oh, you two are so cute. And now we found our little, our little big corner. So this is Madame Laloy. La, 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 la
I've got a loss of words. This is important, and uh, at least for me. When someone says uptown in New Orleans, they mean up, up the, the river. river. They don't mean north. It has been confusing me since we got here. Problem Perfect. solved. <laughs> there you go. Picked up a quick snack from the Sneaky Pickle. So sneaky. Give me looks. Give me all kinds of looks. Direction. Direction. <laughs> <laughs> we all know. 20,000 steps today. <laughs> Welcome to Breads on Oak. Mm. Everything is vegan and it's delicious. Where are we right now? Oh my gosh, we are at one of the Cafe du Monde. Joining us today, we have Daniel and Joe. <laughs> and Brooke. And Brooke. Our mascot. What Café du Monde staple item did you pick up today? Freshly squeezed OJ! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got two orders of beignets, two frozen café au lait, one Woo! iced café au lait, and one freshly squeezed OJ. OJ. Shimmy. Shall we? Right. We shall. Okay. okay. You like it good? Shake, shake, shake. Uh -huh. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, ready? Ready. Take that one. Alright. Right. One, ready? two, three. Cheers. 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 Don't it, Jam. That's very hot. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh no, I got better girl over the dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect! How is it? It's amazing. Cafe Du Monde at City Park, everybody. What is it? Less lines, way more gorgeous. The park is stunning. Come through. We are right now at Lake Pontchartrain. It is beautiful. It's amazing. It really does feel like so you're in the ocean. So that's the Causeway Bridge, which is the longest um, twin span bridge over water in the world. It's like 40 miles long <gasps> to get to the other side. Wow. So that's if, insane. And if you accidentally get on the causeway, you have to go all the way over. There's no way <gasps> to turn around. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Noted. One, two, three. Our last New Orleans moment was a walk down historic St. Charles Avenue, starting at Audubon Park. Other side of Audubon Park is Audubon Zoo, which is one of the nicer zoos in the country. And then right on a streetcar named, is it Desire? I think it's Desire. Is her name Desire? Okay. <laughs> We just rode the St. Charles streetcar, which is the oldest continuous streetcar in the world. It's been yeah. operated since 1835. Oh, good for you if you remember the year. Originally mule drawn, and yep. then for a brief period of time, it had an internal combustion engine, and then in the 1920s, they were electrified. Yes. This is the most beautiful place in America. That, that, that is the most beautiful human-made place in America, because nature, Mm. Obviously, wins. Uh, oh. Tessa, what is that? Oh, this is a stone slab for your hoop skirts. Get into the carriage and get into the mat. Uh, this installation was handcrafted. The fan. So they take the house, just Jack lift it up, up the and whole thing. The first floor. Yeah. That's crazy. It was just sort of a fad for like a decade. She's singing opera. Singing opera for the children. Your neighbors are quiet and don't complain. Yeah. Hello, Miss Gorgeous. <laughs> Gorgeous. Look at the sidewalk and how it's just, the trees have just taken it. Wow. Rumor is Beyonce lives here. Tessa, tell me about the Black M McDonald's. So apparently that is the only Golden Arch McDonald's there is because Anne Rice lived around the corner and asked that they change it to be black. 
And if you don't know who Anne Rice is, she wrote Interview with a Vampire. Can't get into the <laughs> Yeah. What is this house? So this is the largest house on St. Charles Avenue by, by square footage. Um, and it also, like small world circumstances, was designed by an architect who also designed the Moss Mansion, which is up in Billings, Montana, where Joe is from. Oh my gosh. So like, just like small world, kind of cool. We each grew up in a town that had a grand old home designed with the same guy. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah, to me, that's like a great Gatsby house. Absolutely. <laughs> Bye! Bye! We just we left New Orleans, Orleans and we miss it so much already. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to go back. So much more to do. Thank you, Daniel and Joe. Yes, now. We're gonna feel it out. If we get to Austin tonight, great. If not, we're probably gonna crash in Houston. We rock out with the Chase Sapphire card, which yeah. has amazing points. So we'll that's put our what we're uh, relying referral on. code in the description. Yeah, that's what we're relying. <laughs> yeah, we're relying on Chase travel Sapphire points when we do not make it to our campsite to keep it frugal and fresh. Yeah, we're going over the Mississippi River. Crossing the Mississippi River. M I S S I S S I P P I. I-P-P-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-M. I'm so glad you could do that backwards. <laughs> <laughs>